Hello YouTube, RJ. Hey today, I just wanted to do a quick video and show you one of the uh, tools that I've uh, got for the lab. Now, I've had this, this is not an unboxing, I've had this for a number of months, but I uh, wanted to give a quick demo of it and tell you what I thought of it. It's been a great little piece of kit, as my friends overseas would say. It's the TR120E Infrared Thermal Imager. It's by A-C-E-G-M-E-T. I'm not even going to try to say that because I will butcher it and you guys will make fun of me. So we're not going to give you that opportunity today. So sorry about that. But I found it useful in a couple cases where I was doing, especially one of the big things, doing diagnostics on something that's not working. Electronics, you know, I'm sure you realize a lot of times when something's damaged on electronic, that item will get hotter than normal. And so these things can be fantastic for troubleshooting. But I just wanted to kind of give you a quick, quick demo of it, rundown of, you know, how it works. A few, maybe a few specs real quick. Uh, to give you an idea, it's a 120 by 90, so it's not a super high res, but it's not one of the real low res thermal imagers. Uh, the price was not bad on this at all. I right now can't remember what it is, but it wouldn't matter because it's been months, so it's probably different. But uh, it's got a 25 hertz rate, so it updates fairly quick. Has an accuracy of within 2C. Does both Celsius and Fahrenheit, whatever you want. Has a 2.4 inch TFT screen, 320 by 240. Has the laser pointer, has all the things you normally would expect. So let's get around and take a look at it. Uh, one of the things I really like about it is it's USB-C charging. So. Uh, re really nice. This is the unit. Uh, up here is your SD card. It came with an SD card with the when I with what the order that I made. It's got USB C for charging. Just plug it in there and charge it. This thing will run. It claims nine hours on the charge. So, I mean that's continuous operation. It says so. I, I'm pretty impressed. I give you a good little twirl here and let you see the whole thing. It's got a LED light. It has a laser pointer and the sensor, of course. You have your trigger here. Your controls here are very basic. Uh, only a couple buttons. An OK button, an up and down button, and a power button. And then, of course, your trigger. Trigger fires the laser and takes images. It comes with this, the manual, and a USB-C cable and a SD card. So you've got everything you need for charging. you got an SD card to capture picture images. So let me get this out of the way for us. And to kind of demo it, I've kind of set up, I hope, something that's going to work okay here. I've got my little electronic load. I don't know if I've uh, shown this before to everybody, but it's an eBay digital load. It lets you load, lets you load down so many amps or pull down to a certain voltage, or you know, you can test batteries with it. You can do a number of things with it. I've got it hooked up here to my linear power supply, which uh it's set up at 20 volts. You can put it in different modes. At the moment, I have it in amps. And if you can make out here, I'm, I'm asking it for two, two amps, but I because that's what my uh, linear is going to peg out at on one channel. And so you can control it to whatever you want. Very handy little device. It wasn't that expensive. Uh, I've had this many, many years. I don't know if this exact model is available anymore. So anyway, what we're going to do today is we're uh, we're looking at this, not at the load, but I wanted you to get an idea of what we're working with here. So I've got 20 volts coming in, up to 2 amps. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to load down to 2 amps. But first, we're going to fire this thing up. Let me get it to where you can see it here. Not sure what you're going to be able to see w which camera. So let's, uh, let's try a couple things here. So she fires up. She does a calibration. And let me come up to the camera. And you can probably see she's looking at the temperatures. And I'm not sure if you can see the marker or not, but there's two markers bouncing around, low temp and high temp. You can see that there's not a lot of difference. There's 91 degrees, 92 degrees. They're almost the same because this is room temperature at the moment. So to show what it looks like and how it works, let's engage this thing. And it's just loaded my power supply down. So we're kicking some watts in it. You're going to notice that it's, the rest of the board is going to kind of go away because it's not 
it's not close to the temperature of the hottest spot anymore. You can see we're 127. Get up close to the camera. I don't know how close I can get in a focus. There's 128 going through 130. You can see where it's warming up. It's warming right up here where you see this large oversized MOSFET. And uh, we're up to 140 degrees, 145. She's heating up. And you can see the heat starting to move through the uh, spread out to the heat sink. So what I can do is to give you a better idea of what it looks like, I'm going to hit the button, point there, let go. It's going to ask me if I want to save, and I'm going to say yes. And I'll be able to pull it up here. So let me pull it up and show you what it looks like. And we'll give it a minute more. And we'll hit it again. Take another screenshot. And I'll come up to this camera in case maybe... I don't think you can probably get it in focus enough to do that. Looking down, that's what we see. We can see the heat's coming up to the top of the heat sink, which you would expect. So I'm going to try to get another screenshot. Okay, and I'll post those up in just a second for you. So we're getting up there. We're running 175 degrees. So I'm going to turn it off. And very quickly, we'll start seeing it drop. 150, 140, 130. So very handy. I mean, you, you can see right where the heat's coming from. I, I find it to be a, a great tool. You can see the laser pointer on the heat sink there. You also have tons of setting to change different colors, uh, temperature scales. Let's go in the menu here for a second. You can go look at your images in here. You can, let me go up here. Images, you can go to look at your images. You can change the screen display. If I go in that, you'll see that you can turn on different fun functions in there. You can set high-low alerts. You can turn on the LED light. Uh, I don't know if, yeah, you can see. See, I've got a light. I'm turning on and off. So you can have a work light if you need it. Change the colors of the screen for the temperature and such. Here's your main setting screen where you can check, change temp unit, emissivity, laser on or off, time and date, brightness, auto power down, auto save. That's where if you click the laser, it doesn't ask you, uh, it won't ask you if you want to save an image, it'll just do it. You can format the SD card and then you can get device info and you can do a factory reset if you get it all boogered up. So, really like it. For the money, it's been a great little tool. It has a good battery in it. It definitely will run a long time. I thought you would uh, find that interesting. So hopefully this short little video will pique your interest. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you like this kind of content, do me a favor, subscribe, maybe do a like, and hit the notify button so you know when I put more videos up. Hope to see you on the next one.